Hey everyone, Jace over here looking at a relic of the past. A lot of you probably have never seen this camera before, but this is what started the Lego filming on YouTube for my main channel. This is my old Sony Handycam Video 8. Now this brings back memories. Uh, it's been collecting dust. No flip screen. This is how we rolled back in the day. This is how we used to do the videos. So we didn't have the fancy flip screens or they fit in the palm of your hand. You know. Um, this is a nice camera and it still works. I'd like to maybe shoot a couple of videos with this and do a comparison with this one and uh, a 4K and see which one's actually the best. All right, let's take a look here. Now, let's see. Um, I wonder if I can zoom in on that. Let's see. Let's put the thing on the... Um, focus. Let's go on auto. All right. Look at that right there. It's made in Japan. It's not made in China. That's why this thing's still breathing today. And this thing, I thought it was made in 1991. It was made in July of 1994. So this thing's ready to roll out to be 22 years old. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is where it all started out. Put the focus on manual so it doesn't act all screwy. Now, I got to talk about some things about this camera. This has one heck of a steady shot. This camera that I'm using now doesn't, it just doesn't seem like it does. And it's on. It just doesn't do, it's not a really well performer. Um, now, we didn't have memory cards back then. This is what I used. Tapes that have dust on them. And this has some very old scenic videos, and I think there might be a Lego video or two on here. Maybe of the three bedroom, two bath Lego home. It's on, I have a couple of cassettes that I gotta find. It might be on one of these. Um, and, you know, some people say, I need to get a good camera for YouTube and stuff like that. You know, I started out with this, and this was my parents. And,. You don't need to have a high quality camera. This thing, I believe, only goes up to 480, either 240 or 480. At, you know, I don't know. Um, you know, it's obviously 4.3 aspect. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's it got me where I'm at now. And this is this is something that I just I don't think I can get rid of. Now this, you know, the rubber around the focus ring. It's starting to deteriorate. This thing around the viewfinder, this is getting a little stiff. So I'm going to have to probably uh, put some rubber rejuvenator or something on there and see if I can revive it. I don't want to get rid of this camera. And yeah, I mean, it's obviously bigger than what I'm using now. And I've been talking about with, with a couple of my friends and stuff, I'm thinking about getting a new camera. Um, you know, to replace the one I'm using now. Because I know I watch my videos and I can hear the hard drive inside, you know, saving the video. And I know some of you said it does get a little annoying. And I notice it's getting louder and louder. So I'm going to have to uh, replace this camera eventually. I'm going to try to get maybe a 4K or something. Not a GoPro because I'm just going to use it for filming. But I'm going to get me a Pro... Uh, uh, a 4K professional grade camera, and those are pretty pricey, but I'm thinking about getting it. Because cameras last a long time if you take care of them. So this is a Sony, and Sony did live up to their name here. I mean, it still lives. It's it's breathing. You know, this the name says it all, and that's what I'm using now as a Sony. Um, I'm just still I'm still debating if I should get me a Panasonic or a Sony camera for filming. I haven't made up my mind yet. 
But I might do a comparison video of these cameras and maybe film something and see what it is. Uh, but the quality's not going to be good on this. It might be bigger, but it's not going to be the best. You know, I mean, takes the big uh, Video 8 tapes. And it's in 4.3. And I got to say, though, that this camera that I'm using here has got better color. Uh, I might take this thing apart and maybe uh, re-lube everything. It's all mechanical. But yeah, that's where it all started right there. So imagine me here in this same area and this thing here just pointing right down on something like this truck with the makeshift trailer. You imagine that being there and it wasn't that good quality. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, I mean, and this, this model wasn't stereo, it was mono, so, and I don't know how long this is going to last, but for, t for almost being 22 years old, and, you know, it, it lasted pretty well. Now, where's this tape made at? It doesn't say. It's just the Maxell. Does Maxell still make tapes? Did they get put out of business? You know, I mean, it doesn't tell me if it was made in China. You know, I gotta tell you something though. You know, I mean, that's just that just tells you. I mean, I've been through more like I had a Canon. I have to dig the Canon out. It's not any better than the, 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 I still think this one was better than the Canon, and then the one I'm using now is better than all of them. But, you know, when you get, you know, if you're starting out on YouTube, you don't need to get a good camera. Just get a feel for it. I mean, honestly, if you got a camera just lying around, <laughs> I just start with that first. And if you get a lot of views on your videos, you know, but now cameras are cheap. You know, like back then in the day, this was close to $1,000 just for this little thing. You know, that was pretty pricey, you know, you know, that, you know, that was expensive. You know, now $1,000 can get you a really good drone. <laughs> <laughs> you can walk around or you know you got a better camera like you could just you know buy what what I have here and it would be a good little um you know little camera to shoot but yeah this one's got a lot of memories though I remember using this for skateboarding videos and stuff if I could dig up those old skate tapes I might even put those up on YouTube and just I don't know back from the 90s oh you guys and gals will get a crack out of that See me and my friends chilling out. Oh, you'd you'd really make fun of that because I remember when I was a preteen or a teen, the baggy jeans, the bowl haircut. Oh yeah. Maybe I shouldn't leak all that out now. I should just kind of maybe I should just take all those skate tapes and just erase all over them. But I might end up putting them on the. Uh, I might back them up on my computer. You know, before they deteriorate forever. You know, just for the heck of it. Just to savor the memories. Well, that is, that's it. Let me read the model number. What is the model number of this? This is a 12x st study shot. Um, here it is. It is a CCD FX630. Okay, well, it's obviously... Uh, it's a well-built machine for its time, you know. I mean, it is. It's, you know, it's a great camera. Thank you for watching.